Cameroon hosted the third edition of the Cameroon Fashion Design on June 4th and 9th. The creations of fashion designers were showcased on and backstage. From scantily clad models to models rocking extraordinary hairstyles and giving off royalty vibes, each designer turned to their roots. The latest edition of the Cameroon Fashion Design offered a journey through Africa's sartorial history. Stops during this exploration of ancestral creations included one in Mali for its bougalon, in Cote d'Ivoire for the Kita fabric, and in Cameroon to discover the dup and highly sought-after wood fabric, the Obam. Models rocked the catwalk under the watchful eye of First Lady Chantal Bia. The show celebrated the creative genius of a continent with singular techniques, highlighting the exuberant or eco-friendly attributes of some outfits. The mission was set by the event's promoter. Africa is overflowing with riches and noble fabrics. Over the years, we've come to realize that Westerners are appropriating these materials and promoting them. So we decided to go back to our roots and show that Africa does have something to offer. Far from this festive atmosphere, another exhibition is taking place, this time a private one. Epe Moto is an Obom fanatic. The man and a partner studied the rare fabric during almost five years. Their aim was to make the traditional material, which is extracted from a tree, fashionable again. It was once reserved for special occasions. One of the objectives is to popularize the use of Obom. But it is above all a quest for identity. Long before cotton was as widely used as it is, the peoples from Cameroon's center southeast would wear obam. The cheapest piece of obam costs 11,000 CFA francs, a hefty sum for the average Cameroonian. Until it becomes affordable, obam is gaining awards.